Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. Today's upload is a very, very special one. If you guys have seen on Netflix recently, there is a brand new movie out. It is called Enola Holmes, and basically, Enola is Sherlock Holmes' sister, um, and she is extremely smart, and she, you know, you follow the storyline, and she basically solves, like, a case um, by herself without her brother's help, and it is a brilliant movie. It is really, really good. I'd highly recommend it. But I have been requested by Cameron, um, an awesome subscriber of mine, great channel as well, definitely go check him out, link in the description below to that, um, has requested me to build a Nola in Minecraft. So I came up with this design just here. Now I know what you're thinking, she has no face. Well, there is a reason behind that, <laughs> I will explain. Um, basically, I've started this whole new build design series type thingy, where, if you guys remember rightly, I was building like busts before. Um, like busts are just the head of a, a character or person or something like that. Well, I'm still going to be doing that sort of series as well and that type of build style. But I think with certain characters, you need to build the entire body to get the more characteristics out of it and see who it actually is, you know, for what they're wearing and things like that. And because Anola was wearing sort of Victorian style clothes because it was set in like Victorian era, um, I wanted to build the entire dress and uh, make it look very, very smart. So we have Anola just here. So we're going to be getting straight into the build today. We have some very, very cool details, I think, with this build. I know it looks quite square, but of course, Minecraft has no curves unless you make them yourself. So I tried my best to get this um, as curvy as possible, if that makes sense, without it being weird looking. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like the design. We have like her hair sort of coming along the front of her arm there. Um, the entire dress has got like a lot of different designs. So if you look down the bottom... You can see the, the dress kind of uh, frays a little bit. Um, not because it's, of course, old or anything like that. It's just to add the little details of the fabric sort of moving in and out of each other like an actual dress should be. Sort of, I don't really know what the word is I'm looking for. But yeah, you know what I mean. Just to make it look like a dress. A little bit more three-dimensional, I guess. But yeah, let's get into the build, guys. All right then, guys. So the only materials you're going to need for this build are some chiseled nether um, bricks, some lapis lazuli block, some oak wood, some stripped birch wood and some white wool for these sort of um, edge of a sleeves type thing, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go besides my other one just so I can refer back if I need to. I'm going to drop down just to the floor and we're going to go one, two, three, four in a cluster like so. Then we're going to go ahead and build up the back, the back two like so. Then we're going to go over for like a bridge for two lots. So another square attached to that, that one kind of above like that. And then drop down for the heel for those two blocks underneath. Now what we're going to do for this is we're going to go two blocks away and we're going to build the exact same thing. So another four cluster. Two above. Two coming back for two lots. So you basically have another cluster of four. And then drop down for the heel which is of course two lots. Now I've never built a lady in a dress before in Minecraft. This was definitely a new thing for me. So if you guys want to change up the design to however you like. Um, please feel free to do so. You can always use this as a template or a base plate if you if you need to. So let's take our lapis now and what we're going to do is we're going to go around the perimeter of our shoes. So we're going to go out a block from the, the front and of course out a block on the side. We're going to do this all the way around so that Anola basically has a base that we can work with and extend out if we need to. We will need to extend it out later for the sort of flamboyant look. Um, but uh, we'll get that going later. So this goes up to about eight blocks high. So we're going to go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. And we're going to do this on all of these lapis blocks that are showing. Basically, you want to build a big square on top of the shoes <laughs> for now. We will make it look like Enola later on. So yeah, as far as the movie goes, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good. It was definitely a clever concept, like I don't think anyone has ever sort of made a Sherlock Holmes sister film before. I've seen a lot of the Sherlock films and I've even seen the, the whole TV show with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch playing Sherlock. I thought that was really, really good. I really enjoyed that series. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cool. Like they set it in Victorian England and made it very unique. It was definitely a unique film. Yeah, I can highly recommend. If you guys are Millie Bobby Brown fans, then it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so we do have a square on, 
on some feet, which is perfect. That is what we want so far. All right, so that is awesome. We now have a square on some feet. That is perfect. That is exactly what we want. Okay, so what we're going to do to make this look like a dress is we're going to go ahead and build a row on this far right corner just over here with our lapis. So going straight up to the top for the eighth block up here. Then we're actually going to come out of the dress just here and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and only seven, like so. Now that is perfect. We're going to leave that overhanging for now because we're going to basically build um, a sort of skirt look to this. So it goes out of the main structure to make it look more like like a dress, you know? I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know technical terms for clothes. I just, I'm not a big fan of clothes. <laughs> if, you know, my family are going to go clothes shopping, I tend to just stay at home because clothes are definitely not my thing. <laughs> As you can tell by playing Minecraft. Okay, so anyway, back to business. We are going to go just here. So two blocks up from the floor, we're going to go to the third block up. And we're going to go all the way until we reach the eighth block up there. Then we are going to go ahead and go diagonally down and to the left for that one. So we only leave one underneath this one exposed. We're going to build this up to the eighth one as well, like so. Then we are going to go ahead and add in a couple blocks down here. So add in two down to the left, like so. Now up from these two, you leave a two block gap. And on the third one, you're going to place one, two, three blocks like so. So there's actually a block missing at the top. And that is perfect. And that is also going to be in line with your gap between the shoes. Now, if you want to just drop down here and fill in the bottom of the dress so that you don't have a gap between your shoes so that it looks like they're connected. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Now we can go from the three. So to the left, we're also going to leave a gap for this one. We're going to drop down for four though. One, two, three, four, like so. Then we're going to bring down from the eight again. We're going to go all the way down until we reach the bottom like that because we don't need to leave any gaps for this one. We are then going to go ahead and go in line with the eight again. One, two, three, four. Let's go five like so. Now we're going to build another row of eight on the end. So that is again three. And then of course we need to add our seven on the side overhanging the build like that. All in all, it's quite symmetrical. I know that some of the rickets and um, 3D parts are a little bit different to one another, but other than that, it's actually quite symmetrical, which is always helpful in Minecraft, as you guys know. Okay, so I'm going to go around the right side now, and I'm going to start from the second row in behind our seven. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time, because we bring this seven down a block below, we're actually going to go up instead this time. So it goes up to the top of the 8 instead of down to the bottom of the 8, if that makes sense. We are then going to go ahead and go a block up again for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks. Then we can take the full 8 again, like so. And that is actually in line with the Nola's arm, as you can see there. So our hand actually covered up most of the side. So it's just there for a little bit of detail. Like I said, it's not really there for... Um, inspection by a dress connoisseur or something like that <laughs> um, because uh, like I said I have no idea about dresses at all which is you know <laughs> I, I might learn I might learn I don't know be a weird thing to learn but anyway back to business so we're going to go from the top again one two three four we can go four for now that's perfect like I said this is in line with the arm so it does go into this sort of gap here for the hand but because you're not going to see that I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would just make it simple for yourself by doing a simple, just leaving out four like that. Then we'll bring up the eight again. And then we're going to go around the corner for seven. This time, make sure you fill up the bottom one instead of that top one up there. Brilliant. Now we're going to work on the back. So we're going to go around to this back. And we're going to go from up from the seven. So just the second row in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, a block up from your previous one. We are then going to do exactly the same for two rows. Um, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, like so. And we're going to do another row of five, just besides that to the right. Then we're going to drop down to this five and leave a gap just here, but add in two blocks down there. 
We are then going to go ahead and make another 8, just here, like so. Then we're going to make a row of 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then another 8, of course. Then we're going to do a 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to do a 7, which is going to be, of course, up instead of down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to do the down, looking 7, so that's 2. Three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now we can take ourselves to the left side if you're looking at this from the front. And we're going to go ahead and add in an eight just here. Then we're going to go for a one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, four would be good just there. Then we can actually drop down to the next row and just place two there. Then we're going to go for a row of one. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, just diagonally to the right of that two that's kind of suspended at the moment. From that two that's suspended, we can go ahead and take one, two, three to fill in that little gap there. You can also then add another eight just in here, and that brings us back around to the front. Now, if you thought that was a little bit too much of a gap just here, you can always just fill in two of those to make it look a little bit more better. I think that looks better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright, that is awesome. So now we have the bottom of the dress completed. We can go ahead and work on the torso and then probably add in the arms as well. Let's get on to the next step. Alright then guys, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to build kind of the torso of Enola. So we're going to go ahead and take our lapis again. This time we're going to go just in here. So this gap that is kind of left for us just here. So do you remember our original square? We're going to basically extend that right the way up to just below her neck so we're going to go one two three four oops five six seven now if you want to double check that that is totally cool i can see that's about seven yeah perfect and then i'm going to build my entire square going up to this margin up here it's always good to build a very very tall looking statues um i think millie bobby brown is actually quite tall so this actually kind of helps us out <laughs> A little bit. I, I mean, she is still young in the film. She's playing like, yeah, I think she's playing a 16-year-old. So, obviously, she's still probably growing. So, like, we were trying to make basically a teenage girl. And, yeah, I've built a, I, I built another one of these statues. And it's an adult. Um, I'm not going to say too much because I want it to be a surprise. But, yeah, it's an adult kind of statue. So, getting the height to the, be the same was quite tricky because obviously like I said Millie's playing like a teenage girl and then I, my other statue is like an adult so I was kind of trying to make the size look as if they were sort of in a family you know um, just so I could get the scale right I guess but I think it came out okay and because it's not besides my other statue I'm just gonna say it's okay <laughs> even if it's not um, because it doesn't really matter too much okay that is awesome so now we have that seven block square at the top there we can go ahead and leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five um, between this gap just down here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we can stick two blocks just there for a cluster for, for like a square. Drop down on either side for just one block, like so, diagonally down. Then drop down on the sides for two blocks, like so. Now that is basically the part of um, Enola's dress that it kind of has like um an embroidered pattern like it's a different sort of stitch design um, for the torso area so that was pretty cool I wanted to incorporate that into the build somehow it was tricky I was trying to use some of um, like blue concrete for example or even some blue clay terracotta I even went for a shulker box at one point um, but I kind of didn't really like the the texture of it I think the lapis does do this justice I think this is the best material to use so let's stick with our lapis for this one Let's go around the corner and place two blocks just there. Then we can actually go ahead and place a row. Oh, switch my pictures around so I can see what I'm doing. Of one, two, three, four, five, like so. Now we're going to bring this five along for another two. And then another three. So, uh, another one, sorry. <laughs> to make that basically a row of four lots of five, like that. So a quick recap. Two there. And then four rots, four rots, four lots of five around the corner. 
we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So two, one in line with that sort of bit of the embroidered pattern, and then four rows of five around this corner, all in line with one another so that they look pretty cool. There we go. We can also now go around to the back and just do this exact same thing. So a long row of five for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring this one up to the top of the structure. Like so. There we go. It's starting to take the shape now, which is perfect. Awesome. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous about building the hair. Hair is... Oh, it's just on another level of craziness in Minecraft. It's so hard because you wanted to make it look natural, um, but also stylish. And it is, yeah, it's pretty hard. That was my chair squeaking, by the way. That was not anything else, guys. Come on. Be mature. <laughs> okay, right, let's get on to the next bit. Okay, then. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to build the collar. Now, we're going to go for just a diagonal block away from this kind of embroidered pattern just here. So we're on this row. Then we're going to add one on top. Also going to do that the opposite side, like so. So you leave a two block gap between those. We're then going to go ahead and add in the collar just here. So we're going to bring up this back wall for those six blocks like so. And then you can bring these forward for those three on both sides for that collar design like so. Brilliant. Now we can build our arms. So what we're going to do is go around to the sides of course and build down from here. So we're going to go one, let me just quickly count this in my picture, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you should be just here um, in line with the top of the, the skirt bit of the dress. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and build another row of eight just back here, directly behind it. And then you can actually build two rows of seven just here, so it looks a little bit like her shoulder like that if you know what I mean there we go it kind of goes down like that do the exact same on the opposite side make sure to get the symmetry if you can that'd be awesome so like I said two rows of eight just here so just just there in line with the top of the skirt and then two rows of seven directly in front of those eight like so brilliant it's always good to just zoom out and just double check that they look pretty much the same mine are looking pretty cool so that's good all right then we can take our white wool and go around the bottom of the four for both of the arms then you can take your stripped birch wood and you can go on all four of those blocks bring down two going out to the side and then bring down the one at the back like that so it looks like a hand so on the opposite side on my right side i'm going to go four two on the side going out to towards nothing basically and then one at the back like so so it looks like some hands where she can hold um, maybe a notepad or something like that pretty awesome stuff okay and then we can just mark out the face real quick now this part may get a little bit tricky so just stay with me guys we got this all right so we're going to go into this neck collar area that we built and add in three lots of four like so Perfect. Then we can go up a block from this. So bring your three lots of four up and build these up. You can also go ahead and add another row here if you wish. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much about this back bit because at the end of the day, there's, there's a lot of hair to uh, fill that up. So we're not going to see that too much. We are then going to go ahead and build two blocks out the front like so for the chin. Then we're going to do a row of four on top of this. Now again, don't worry too much about the textures of the wood because it is going to go out horizontally as well as vertically, but it doesn't matter too much. Like I said, it's a bit of a crazy build anyway. So honestly, if, you, if you're if you a bit picky with that sort of thing, then, you know, feel free to change it up. But I'm just going to leave mine how it is. That's fine. I'm going to go out on both sides once again for another row. And this row is actually going to go up for three blocks, as you can see just there. So let's bring this one up. Now what you can do once you've finished the sort of design of the face, you can just go back and replace these if you wish. Like that, it's much easier to do it like that. Perfect. And then we're going to add a row of four on the top, like that for the forehead. Okay, so around the corner, let's go ahead and add in four blocks on either side, like that. 
Then bring these four blocks out. Like so. And then you can actually go ahead and build these walls up to the top. Like that. So the top of the, the side of the face. There we go. And then we need to add in the ears. Now the ears go back just two blocks as you can see just there. So let's add in an ear just there. And an ear over this side in the exact same spot. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to go do some more research on the hair and I'll be right back to uh, get us started on building. Let's do it. Alright guys, because as we are working just on the hair, I have only grabbed my oak wood. I've scrapped the rest of my inventory just so we don't get confused and end up giving her directly the same coloured hair as a dress. <laughs> that would be very, very awkward. Alright, so we're going to go around to the side and the left arm. We're basically going to build the um, sort of plait that is overhanging her arm. And it kind of goes over her shoulder. So this was the hardest part for me to build when I was like planning this tutorial. So hopefully we can get it down pretty easily this time. Okay, so we're going to go a block up from the white wall just down there. And leave this row of lapis empty. We're going to go just to here. And build one, two, three, four, five, six blocks up like so. So we are literally just there in line with the shoulder. We're going to go three blocks back from the shoulder like that again don't worry too much about the wood going off horizontally vertically you know where it wants to go just let it do its thing we're going to drop down from in front of these blocks just here and we're going to go one two three four five six blocks down so basically the exact same pillar just a block shifted down we can then go ahead and add in a block directly next to this shifted down six for about uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add a sixth one on that as well. We can add two blocks in here just to make that a little bit more uh, nice looking, I guess. Um, that's pretty cool. And then from this row of now six, it was five. We're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, like so. Then we're going to add five just next to that, going back up, just like that. Then we're going to add another five just here. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Four, just like that. So basically, you're coming to the embroidered pattern just here. You need to add four. I'm just going to switch my woods that way around. I was saying you guys might get a bit frustrated with this, but I'm actually getting frustrated with this. Jeez. <sighs> I do have a lot of OCDs when it comes to Minecraft stuff, you know? Crazy. All right, so let's fill in this little gap now with some wood like that. So it goes up into a nice sort of pattern like this perfect then we can go ahead and add one two three around like a corner just there then one and then one just there now I'm actually gonna quickly go behind here and I'm gonna add one two and then I'm gonna add three just in here so it kind of goes underneath her ear just like that we can add a block just back from that three there we can also add a couple blocks back here, so that covers in that hole just underneath her ear. Then we're going to go back just to here for one, two, three. Then I'm going to go into here. I'm going to add one, two, three, oops, three, four, five. So it goes to the top of her ear like that. Brilliant. Okay, uh, I'm going to switch my pictures around now so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, let me just get the bearings of this going. Okay, sweet. So we're going to go from here now. We're going to make this block three. So let's add two to that one, just like so. And then we can add a block of two lots of two, like that, to make four, just in that shape there. Let's go ahead and add in four blocks for two rows behind that. So it kind of goes up like that. Then we will now bring this one back for two blocks like that. And then we're going to add two blocks on top of that, like so. Brilliant. So, let's go back into the build just here now. And add one there, and one on top of that. So it kind of overhangs. Then I'm going to go onto the ear. I'm going to go one, two. And then we're going to build one, two. Uh, let's... Then I'm just going to quickly fly back, just to make sure. Yeah, only two I like that. So it kind of goes down into this block just here. Sorry, I had to go check that quick, guys. I just wanted to make sure I got that. Okay. I was a bit like, 
Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I best to go double check it. So on the top of the head now, so on the left sort of cheek, above on the forehead, I'm going to add two blocks going back like this. Then I'm going to add a row of one, two, three, four, uh, five blocks like so. Then I can also add another block onto that fifth one just so it goes down again like so. You can see it's starting to take shape which is perfect. We've got one of the hardest bits out of the way, this section down here. Let's switch my pictures to the back so we can see what to do around here. Alright, so we are going to go up just to here now and we're going to go basically make this three come down like so. We're going to go back in and we're just going to add a block just there. Add a bit more detail again, a bit more texture to the hair. Let's add in five, but this time there's going to be one at the bottom and one at the top that are going to be kind of out from the rest of the build there. Then we can go ahead and add in another row. Just let me just count this. Sorry, guys, I'm a little underprepared for the hair. <laughs> so I'm going to add two out directly in line with that one just there. And I'm going to build this straight down to that fifth one just there. Then I'm going to do it, go down another row just like that. Then I'm going to mark out the rest of the hair and I'll fill it in later. So I'm going to go one, two, like so. Bring this one down another block like that. And then I'm going to go for a one just here, one just there. Then I'm going to make sure I bring this one down as well for another row. So I'm going to go for a one just there. And then I can build this one up just just there, like so. So just as you reach the top of the torso area. Then I'm going to build a loop around like that. Then I'll drop this one down for one. Then I'm going to drop this one down for about three like that, but only two of them are going to be showing as this one kind of covers up that top one. Then I'm going to add a block just in there. Then I'm going to add a block there and a block on the side like so. Now this goes back to the side of the head, so that's perfect. Okay, so I think I did the hair longer on this one than I did my original, but that's not too much trouble. Might just knock that one off, add two in there, and then knock those two off as well. Yeah, it's up to you guys. You probably will be changing this up quite a lot of times um, by the way we're just going to fill this in real quick all of these blocks in quite a lot until we reach the top basically of where we were before there we go yeah you will be messing about with this quite a lot because at the end of the day hair is a natural thing it does what it wants my hair I wake up in the morning I look like Doc Brown from Back to the Future I don't care I you know you just go and sort of style it a little bit then I turn out like Steve from Stranger Things and then sorted. Days begin. <laughs> I know my hair is not that long anymore, but you know what I mean? It's, it's natural. Hair is a natural thing. It's going to do its own crazy business. Um, so we're trying to build it natural, which is always hard in Minecraft because, you know, Minecraft wants to be perfect. It's, it's a very perfect game. So regarding this area, we're going to go here for one, two, three, four, five. Um, then we'll go for a sit form just there. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in again for just four at the top, like so. Bring that one in, bring that one up, and then bring it along up to there. Then I'm actually going to put a block just there. I'm not going to connect them on the corner though. I'm going to leave that empty. Put in a block just there as well. Switching my picture around to the side. Now as long as we get the sides right and the front sort of plat right, um, it honestly won't look that bad, trust me. <laughs> when I was doing this, I had to mess around a bit, like I said, loads of times. Experiment with different bits and bobs, and in the end, I liked the design. So at the front, we're going to go along the top of the forehead for four blocks. Along the side for these five, like so. So we're now into the haircut there. We are going to go above the ear, as you can see, for about three blocks, like so. Then you bring one out just there. You bring one just in there, and then you bring this one back for those rest of those blocks just there. We can then go ahead and knock that block off. Fill that one if, if you wish. Uh, you could even just leave it like that. It'd be fine. Um, I'm going to go behind the ear and drop down for two. And then I'm going to add a block in there. Add in another two just there. So we have a bit of a square going for us now, which is okay. On the top, I'm going to go ahead and fill this over so it's like a little bit of a pyramid. Um, 
like so, like a hilly pyramid type thing. I'm actually not going off that. It looks better. Like that. Yeah, like I said, you are never going to be 100% happy with it. Like I said, natural stuff in Minecraft is always so hard to build. Um, I try my best, but it just doesn't turn out the way I want it to every single time. So, please bear with me, guys. I hope you are managing to follow along okay. If you do need to pause the video at any point or refer back to any part of the video, please feel free to do so. It is no problem whatsoever. Much rather you guys understood what you're doing than maybe lose the entire thing. So, it's always good to go and refer back. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and put two. Then I'm going to add in this gap just here. I'm going to knock that one off now. We don't really need that one there. And then I'm going to add two up here. Like I said, changing mine up from a from my a base design a little bit here. Knock that one off. Knock those two off there. Add one in there. Knock that one off as well. So it kind of goes down like that. Then bring this one down. So it starts to angle itself down. For the rest of the hair like so there we go phew we made it to the bottom and then here you just want to fill it in so that it's not hollow or at least you can't see it's hollow from the outside like that wonderful we have successfully built enola homes wow that hair was tricky very much was tricky if you guys do need to just like i said uh, refer back to any of the build i recommend just building this bit you know Build, try and build this okay and then once you've built that you just want to feed it back into the back of the head um, and then round the side here kind of just get this design going but other than that you can just go wild with it uh, and Nola does have a hair in different styles throughout the the movie so you can always make her with that hair maybe um, up or down or whatever you want to do with it so you can make it look like your favorite movie scene for example so yeah it's up to you guys how you want to change the build but thank you so much for watching my tutorial i really do appreciate it, guys it has been awesome teaching you once again if you did enjoy the build please be sure to drop a like that'd be awesome and if you'd like to stick around for more of my tutorials coming very very soon please consider subscribing that'd be amazing um, like i said i've got many more to come i'm going to be doing a lot of these face like no face type of statue tutorials i really really have so many ideas for what to do with these so it's going to be great i if you could stay by us for that that'd be really awesome anyway that's enough of me talking have an excellent day guys stay safe of course and i'll see you at the next release of some video coming very very soon goodbye for now